Hello friends, we will be discussing an illustration which is related to the four feature of shear. Rather, not just one problem, we will be discussing three problems in one solution itself. Now, when we are talking about three problems, basically we need to understand that there are three different situations that I am trying to give you. And we will be solving all those three situations together in this illustration itself. So, let us first jot down all those three solutions or rather three illustrations and then we can go ahead with the solving of each and every case situation that we have. Let's start with illustration number one or rather situation number one in this illustration. Now the first situation that we have here refers to Umber Limited. Not necessary that we'll have to pass all the journal entries but yes we'll be passing all the journal entries so that you are on the same page of understanding how every step is coming forward. Now. Umber Limited has issued 5 lakh equity shares. Each share value refers to 10 which were further divided into equal calls that means first and second call and application plus allotment. On application and allotment they took 3 rupees each that means 3 application on 3 and allotment. And similar to that they took first call as 2 rupees and final call as 2 rupees. When the first call happened one shareholder who had 800 shares didn't pay up that amount so the company decided to forfeiture that account or rather forfeiture those shares and whatever balance shares are left to call up for that many shares only for the second call that means after forfeiting those shares they weren't reissued they only forfeited those shares cancelled those shares so the whatever balance is left out of 5 lakh if 800 is subtracted 4 lakh 99,200 will be left with us only for that many shares second call was made and that was duly received by them so we have to pass journal entries for this specific situation. Now let's go on to the next situation that we have here. Now the second situation deals with X Limited who forfeited 100 shares rather only 100 shares were forfeited here of 12% preference shares. That means 12% preference, preference shares were there, 12% preference shares were there with us which amounted to 100 of such and per value of such share was 25 rupees. That means we know the total here out of which applicant failed to pay the second call rest everything was paid after the second call wasn't paid the company forfeited the shares here you have to pass the journal entries for this situation now let's go on to the third situation here now the third situation is also mentioned to us this refers to Y limited who forfeited 200 equity shares and this was for the non-payment of first and second call by some shareholder first call referred to 2 rupees per share and second call refers to 3 rupees per share Share value of each share referred to 10 rupees. That means each share was worth rupees 10 out of which 5 rupees we have already received and rest 5 rupees wasn't received hence we forfeited. Now based on all these three case situations that we have we have to go ahead and pass the journal entries. The first case will have all the journal entries. Second and third case will have only share forfeiture entries because none of the other entries are needed there because everything has been already provided to us. So let's figure out how exactly we are going to start with the journal entries for each case. So now when we are talking about Umber Limited or rather case 1, we will discuss case 1 first. So the application was made or rather the issue was made for 5 lakh shares, we will mention that, we will pass all the journal entries according to that. So let's start with the first receipt of application money. Now in the question they haven't mentioned whether there was any undersubscription or oversubscription, hence we assume that it was at par. So whatever applications were received were equivalent to the issue that was made. Hence, when we are transferring or rather when we are moving that application money to share capital, it will be 15 lakh itself. That means 5 lakh multiplied by 3 rupees on application. So application entry has been passed. Now we'll move on to allotment due and allotment received. Even in the case one, we have no situation whereby until allotment there was any calls in arrears. Calls in arrears happened only in first call and after which those shares were completely forfeited. So after the receipt of first call money, we'll pass the share forfeiture entry after which will be followed by the share call second rather, second share call due and second share call received, which will mark the closure of case one. So let's go ahead with the allotment due and received first. Again on allotment, we are supposed to be expecting 15 lakh itself. So we'll be mentioning that amount 5 lakh into 3 rupees because allotment money is also 3 rupees per share. Now we'll pass the receipt entry for allotment. So the receipt entry has been also passed. Now we'll be going ahead with the formulation or rather passing the journal entries for the specifications related to first call due. So we have mentioned the amount that is supposed to be expected that is 5 lakh multiplied by 2 rupees 
which gives you a value of 10 lakh rupees is what you're expecting. But now here comes the call scenarios. 800 shares weren't paid. That means the call money, rather the first call money for 800 share wasn't paid by this specific shareholders. Hence, that will be the call scenarios. So for call scenarios, it will be 800 multiplied by 2 rupees because that hasn't been paid yet. So that will be 1600 rupees which hasn't paid. So out of 10 lakhs, 1600 will be subtracted. Whatever balance is left will be the amount that we have already received in our bank account. That means we have received somewhere around 998,400 which we have mentioned in our bank account debit side. Now, here comes the question of share for feature because after the first call, they went ahead and they forfeited 800 shares because he didn't pay up the money. So let's pass the for feature entry now. Now, when we're talking about share for feature entry, we have a specific entry here that is share capital account debit to the specific share for feature account and calls in arrears account. Now, share capital account refers to the number of shares being forfeited multiplied by the called up amount. Now, called up amount refers to until what amount we have called up. We have called up only until first call as of now before this entry is going to be passed. So, we are taking only that much of amount. So, application 3, allotment 3 and then first call 2. That means total of 8 rupees we have called up. So, the total on debit side comes to 6400. Now, in call scenarios, we'll mention the total amount of call scenarios that he hasn't paid. So, 800 multiplied by 2 rupees that he haven't paid yet. And share for feature account will refer to the amount that we have already received that means he has paid application he has paid allotment so 800 multiplied by 6 rupees so that confirms the entry of share for feature now we are expecting the next second call due so let's pass the second call due entry now this is the most trickiest part or rather most common part where students make a mistake now when you're expecting second call that means in the question they haven't mentioned that they have reissued those shares. Hence, when we are talking about second call being expected, you won't be expecting 5 lakh shares. You would be expecting 4,99,200 shares value itself because 800 shares have been already cancelled out of 5 lakh. So the balance shares will be only utilized for taking the second call. So the total amount that we are expecting here, like earlier first call we were expecting 10 lakhs. Here we are expecting 9,98,400. Now in the second call, there is no call scenarios. Hence, we are mentioning the entry that is received of second call money. Hence, here we clarify that the entry for case 1 have been already completed. All the journal entries that we could have passed in the case 1 have been done and completely formulated here. So, this is how the case 1 is supposed to be dealt with. Now, we'll go ahead with the journal entries for case 2. Now, when we're talking about case 2, we understand that there are only few details that we have to take care of because we are only passing the four feature entry so make sure we do the working first now let's mention certain details that we already have here now we have mentioned that the shares forfeited referred to 100 shares amount not paid was only the second call which is rupees 6 amount we have already received that will be a part of share four feature account that is rupees 19 now it becomes very easy for us to understand how the share forfeiture entry is supposed to be passed. Now, the entry that we have mentioned here is share capital account debit to share forfeiture account to call scenarios account. Share capital account will refer to the number of shares being forfeited multiplied by the called up amount. Called up amount is completely 25 rupees. The reason being, we have called up until second call out of the final call here. Hence, all the amount has been called up but only second call hasn't been paid. So, let's mention that. Now, call scenarios refers to the amount that hasn't been paid on these many shares. And the share for feature account will refer to the amount that we haven't received or rather we have already received in our account or in our bank account. Basically, this guy has paid application, allotment and first call as well. So, we'll mention that much of amount in total. That means 19 rupees has been already paid by him. So, that gives you the total of share for feature account and this is the basic entry that we had to pass. Let me give you a calculation working here. Now, let me give you a calculation here as for 25 completely. So, this 25 was divided into 4 parts. Application, allotment, first and final call. Out of which we have received application, allotment and first call here. So, 19 rupees on per share has been received, hence that is a part of share forfeiture account because that is our own profit. Now, this marks the closure of case 2 journal entries. Let's go on to the last case that we have here, post which we will mark the closure of this illustration.
Now again, case three refers to forfeiture of the amount or rather forfeiture of shares. So let's mention what details we have already. Now, the number of shares that we have to be forfeited is 200 shares. Amount called up is rupees 10. And amount unpaid is rupees 5. That means amount paid is rupees 5 again. So the entry becomes very simple and easy to understand. Let's pass the entry first. Now the first entry that we have passed here is share capital account debit. In this we'll have number of shares multiplied by the called up amount that is 200 shares into 10 rupees. Which is equal to 2000 rupees. Now the next we'll have calls in arrears. This question or rather this case study had first call and final call not being paid out. So we'll mention that to first call and to final call. And the last part refers to to share forfeiture account which refers to the amount that we have already received. So the journal entry is equivalent or rather the debit side is equal to the credit side now and this is how the share forfeiture entry is supposed to be passed. Make sure all these entries are done or rather prepared in the specific manner because only then you will have the perfect share forfeiture balance that can be utilized whenever there is a share reissue and after that the same balance is supposed to be transferred to capital reserve. So I hope this illustration has given you a lot of clarity about how different situations can be dealt with when it comes to share for feature account. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and keep subscribing to Ikeda.